How's it going guys, it's Sal here, and today we're going to be talking about something different than what I usually talk about. This isn't going to be about anything gaming really, though it is related in a sense. I'm going to be talking about YouTube networks, and basically this video is going to be focused on starting YouTubers who are interested in joining a YouTube network. So if that's not for you, that's totally fine, though if you are curious as to just how people really make money on YouTube and how much money people can make on YouTube, this video will talk about those things as well. Now the reason that I'm making this video is just because when I first joined a YouTube network, I wasn't as nearly as informed as I should have been and I signed a contract and luckily I was able to get out of the contract in a fairly short period of time. So basically, I'm just making this video to inform you guys on what you really need to know when looking at YouTube networks. It's definitely not something that you want to run into right away like I did because I applied to one network and I was accepted and I freaked out and I'm like, yes, I'm a partner. I signed with the network. I didn't really even read the contract. I was just so pumped. So I'm just sharing some information so that you guys won't make the same mistakes that I made. So what exactly is a YouTube network and why would you want to join one? Well basically there's a few reasons that you would want to join a YouTube network. One, some people just like to join a network just so that they have that security of a network backing them just in case anything would ever happen to your channel which is important because sometimes YouTube accounts just get banned for seemingly no reason and when that does happen you definitely want someone on your side to back you up in that situation. And the second reason of course is that you can make money on YouTube if you are partnered with a network and the way that happens is that you can monetize your videos by putting advertisements on them. Now I'm not talking about Google AdSense as that is not the same as being partnered with a network. Basically the way it works is you get advertisements on your videos and you get paid a certain amount of money per 1000 views. Now it's per views whereas Google AdSense I believe is actually per click so that's why you want to be with a network if you actually want to make money because who actually clicks on the ads on YouTube videos anyways. So how exactly do you make money through this process and how is it calculated? Well, it really depends on quite a few things, but the big determining factor is your CPM and your revenue share with your network, and those both vary a lot and they change around quite a bit. So basically your CPM is called your cost per mile and what this is is how much it costs the advertiser to show a specific advertisement to 1000 people. So say your network goes out, it finds an advertiser that says, "Hey, I will pay you $5 for every 1000 people that see this advertisement." So say they say, "Okay, that's that sounds good. We'll do that." Then on your channel, every time 1000 people see an advertisement, five dollars goes to there's just there's five dollars out there for the starting value and then in any network YouTube always takes 45 percent that's how YouTube makes their money 45 percent this is non negotiable YouTube will always do it so five dollars YouTube takes 45 percent then the rest of that money goes to your network and this is when your revenue share comes in say you have a 70 30 revenue share which means you get 70 percent your network takes 30 percent which is kind of an average revenue share see that a lot in networks like Machinima, or Machinima might be 60-40, but anyways, the rest of that money after YouTube takes their 45% will go to your network, and then you will get 70% of that if you have that 70-30 split, and your network will take the other 30%. So this is why it's really important to have a good revenue share, because say you have a 50-50 split, as opposed to a 90-10 split. That'll be a really big difference in how much money you end up making in the long term. Now it is important to note that one view does not necessarily equal one monetized view because say for one month you have 20,000 views total and that ends up being 8,000 of those views are monetized. On another month you might have as much as 11,000 views of those being monetized. It really does vary and you can't really count on a specific percentage of those views being monetized. So it really does depend how much money you make and another thing is that your CPM changes as well your network share will stay the same that doesn't change but your CPM can change with different ads coming and going so the amount of money you make really does vary a lot now what did I do when I first realized that I could join a network I signed on with TGN pretty much as soon as I was accepted and I was pretty pumped and I believe the share was 60 40 which is not that great you definitely want to look for something better than that because your network is taking 40% of your revenue share which is a pretty significant chunk when you do the math that can be quite a lot of money that you're just pretty much giving away and a really important thing to remember when you are looking at joining a network is that if you can join one network you can pretty much join any network when someone invites you to join a network 
they aren't doing you a favor they need you you are the one that has the bargaining power here because they need you you don't necessarily need them you can be just fine without them so it's really important to remember is that they want you so if you want to say hey can you offer me a better split that's definitely something that you can do and a lot of networks will offer you something marginally better so it's really important to remember that you have the bargaining power when you are joining a network don't jump into one network because you think oh no if I join this network and I, or sorry, if I don't join this network, then no other network will want me. That is definitely not true, because if you are good enough for one network, you can join pretty much any network that you want. So what exactly do you want to look for in a network? Well, one, you want to look for a nice revenue share, because you definitely don't want to be giving a big chunk of your money away. And secondly, you want to look for a nice contract. You want to look for, preferably, a no lock-in contract. Because when I signed on with TGN, I was lucky enough that there was a three-month trial period, so I could get out after those three months. Months. But after that, I would have been locked in for two years. And now two years, it might not seem like a long time, but on the internet, two years is, it's a lifetime. It is an extremely long time. Think about which video game you were playing two years ago. That's how long ago that was. And when you're making videos like multiple times a week, that could be like a hundred videos that you're making while being in a network that you don't want to be in. So you really don't want to look for, and or there's nothing wrong with being with a lock-in contract, but if you do sign a contract that locks you in, you want to be very, very sure that that contract is what is right for you. And another really important thing that you want to look for in a network is transparency. You want to know exactly what is going on with your channel and how much money you're making and exactly how it all boils down. And a really good way to learn this is just to go to your analytics page on YouTube and see your estimated earnings. And that is after YouTube takes its 45% cut. So of that number, you will get whatever percentage you and your network have agreed to. So with TGN, I couldn't actually even view that analytics page. They had removed it and I had to go to their website to view my earnings. So who knows what they were actually doing with that money. They might have been completely honest with it, but who knows, they really could have done absolutely anything and screwed me over and I would have had no idea because I can't actually view my official earnings. So that was one of the things that I was not okay with and that's the big reason that I left the network. Not to mention that the split wasn't that amazing at a 60-40 split, though that certainly was not the deciding factor. So you wanna join a network that you can trust basically. If there's anything fishy going on, that's probably not a good network for you to be in. Now it's great that you know all of this stuff now, but when exactly do you want to look at joining a network for your channel? So basically that depends on your channel as some networks have different requirements, though an average requirement seems to be around 300 views per day, though there are definitely networks that will partner you sooner than that. Though a lot of the time, if a network will partner you for only getting like 10 views a day, chances are that's probably not the best network for you to join. So you definitely want to make sure that your channel is at a place that you will actually benefit for a network. 300 views a day, that's a pretty good starting point, though it definitely doesn't hurt to wait till you're higher than that. And this sub count doesn't actually matter that much. It's mostly the views that they are looking for. For example, the network I'm part of right now, I joined, the requirement was either a thousand subscribers or 8,000 views monthly. And I had 8,000 views monthly when I only had 200 subs or something. So really the views are really what you're looking for is that's how you get paid, that's how they get paid. So around 300 views daily, or sorry, yeah, 300 views daily, that's a good starting point as to when you want to start looking to join a YouTube network. So what network should you join? Well that really depends on your personal needs, but I'm going to tell you about the network that I'm partnered with and why they work for me. I am partnered with a network called Union for Gamers, also known as Curse. I'm sure you've heard of Curse before. They own quite a few fairly large websites and the reason that I joined Curse is because of their revenue share and their contract. Now I'm not paid by Curse to say any of the things I'm saying. This is just my honest opinion because I really want to help you guys make a good decision because I really wish I knew the things that I'm telling you right now when I first signed on with a network. So the revenue share with Curse is a 90-10 split, which is very good, which means you get 90%, they get 10%, which is pretty darn good aside from the network taking 100%, or for you taking 100%, which probably wouldn't work because the network needs to make something. So 90-10 split is a very high split. And secondly, the contract with Curse or Union for Gamers, it is an open contract, which means anyone can view that contract. There's no secrecy. A lot of other networks won't let anyone view their contracts, which is kind of fishy in a sense. So the Curse contract, anyone can view it. And the best part, 
there is no lock-in whatsoever, which means that anytime you can choose to leave the network if it isn't working out for you. Now the requirements to join Curse are fairly high. You need 8,000 monthly views or 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 monthly views. Now that sounds like a lot, but it's actually a lot more achievable than you might at first think. So with Curse, you join them, you need to meet these requirements. And say you aren't sure what network you want to join, say you want to try things out. Here's what I recommend to you. If you have a gaming channel, as this is a gaming network union for gamers, if you have a gaming channel and you want to join a network, I recommend that you try out Curse before you try out another network. I've found that they are just a pretty awesome network, the support is great, and you really have nothing to lose. You join them, if you don't like them, you can leave, I think you need to give 30 days notice and they will let you go within 30 days so that's not really much time to wait at all so that's definitely something that would be beneficial to you I recommend you try out curse before another network though at the end of the day the decision is yours I'm just saying what I wish I knew before I made the decision to join a YouTube network so guys, I really hope this video has helped you make a decision to join a YouTube network and at the very least maybe even just inform you about what a YouTube network is and how people really make money on YouTube. Now if you are interested in joining Union for Gamers, I will leave a link in the description below. Now I'm being perfectly honest, this is a referral link, it will help me out if you use it, though if you don't want to use the referral link, that's totally fine and I won't be, my feelings won't be hurt because I can understand people not wanting to use a referral link. So guys, I really hope you have found this video helpful and again, I'm not paid to say any of these things, this is just my honest opinion and I just want to help people make an informed decision because I certainly wish I knew this information when I was joining a YouTube network. So guys, with that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.